Wanted to give a quick tip. Uh, this is something that uh, you can do to your radio pretty simply. Um, I know you hear uh, static in the background. Uh, some radios have a high cut filter, some do not. This is the, uh, the 4800 that doesn't have a high cut filter. It has pretty much everything else. This is upside down just so we can work on it. But I will let you hear the before and after. And basically what we're gonna do is add a high cut filter because if you hear that frying bacon sound in the background, the sizzle, the crispness, um, of the uh, of the frequency so I'm gonna I'm gonna add a capacitor in line uh, it's that simple it's basically just this little part right here once you put that in place um, this sizzle goes away it's basically what a high cut filter is so uh, I'm gonna show you the before and the after difference in the process of putting this in just to let you know that uh, yeah you can you can do this uh, to any radio that uh, you're having issues with or if a radio doesn't have high cut and it's real noisy. Um, so let me just uh, pull this up. So we're hearing lots of sizzle. Lots of sizzle. And we're gonna add this in. Um, basically, I have a trace back where the, uh, the volume control goes into, uh, sorry about that. Uh, the volume control goes into the uh, board and that's where I'm gonna make my junction connection. Basically, we're gonna find the wiper side of the volume control, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, have that go to ground. So that's where we're gonna go ahead and add this capacitor. It just goes between those two pieces. It's actually gonna be on this, uh, our two connections. It's actually gonna be on this connection. This is uh, the 4800s and the J5. So I'll show you this real quick, but yeah, this is basically an example you can use and, and apply to every radio you have. And you can make it switchable by, uh, you know, running a wire to this end to a switch, and then you can turn it on and off. Just uh, if you ever have a, uh, a spare radio, like a Cobra, um, and you have a high cut filter on it, look on the back, you'll see the switch. Basically, the volume goes into the, the switch, and then one side of the pole goes to uh, the ground side, which uh, has, a, has the, a capacitor on it. It's basically, all it is is a capacitor in line on that switch. So you can also apply that to anywhere. This is a 0.33 microfarad. Uh, you can go up to 0.68 microfarad with, uh, with depending on how noisy uh, and how much uh, high cut you want on this. It's basically just this high cut filter. So it'll filter out all the high cut, send that to ground, and then this one here will, uh, uh, anything else will go out the speaker over here. So uh, let me just show you an example, and then I'll go ahead and put it right in line and uh, see if we can hear some people. Uh, we'll go back down to the 38. So. Hear that? Still hear them. That's the sizzle. That's all I'm doing is I'm putting it right in line here. So that takes out a lot, maybe too much. But you can hear the difference. And that's all that is. Uh, I'm just putting it in, taking it out verify and that's where it needs to be but that sounds a lot better than doing that because that's kind of where it needs to sound that's what it needs to sound like non-annoying <laughs> but yeah if you don't have a high cut simple addition right there just a simple capacitor in between the uh, ground and the in between the ground and the uh, wiper on the volume control. It has to be on the volume control side, and it just sends it to ground. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the uh, bottom side of the board here. This uh, just is a test here. But, uh, yeah, it's on J5 on your uh, on this board, and there's a couple like the 93T and that have this uh, EPT69010 Charlie board. So, uh, quick little tip for the uh, high-cut filter.